evening boys and girls I hope we're well and welcome back to another video tonight we'll be looking at a poke on a different Amiga 600 um, I usually use an Amiga A300 stroke A600 which is the earliest revision board that made it into production for the Amiga 600 um, with my vampire now, whilst that is stable and works very, very well, it doesn't give me any trouble at all, um, there are a few limiting issues with having such an early revision board. One of them is IDE speed. Um, I'm not sure if this goes to other factors as well, like RAM speed or CPU speed, but it definitely affects IDE speed. Um, and what I will do tonight is I will show you the performance figures on an Amiga 600 1.5 which is one of the later revisions A600 the A600 are quite a very um, a very short uh, shelf life anyway but um, it uh, it went through a lot of revisions very quickly before it was killed off by Commodore poor sales nobody wanted the damn thing but um, this is a 1.5. It is an uncapped computer. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't done anything. Um, I don't even remember where it came from. I, I will have bought it some years ago, turned it on, saw that it worked, or whatever was wrong with it, fixed it, shoved it in a cupboard, and forgot all about it. Um, but my, uh, my uh, adventures in the Vampire now show that the IDE speed of my particular 600 is a little bit lacking. So tonight we're going to look at, as you can see by APOC showing there, that we're going to run APOC, which is a Commodore utility, which the Vampire guys have uh, tuned up somewhat from a, a non-functioning program to a functioning program. So we're going to poke some addresses into this uh, command line and uh, see what it does to the IDE speed. So first off I'm going to turn off any IDE acceleration that I might have on. So it's $DD1020 space 2 with the pointer out of the way um, dollar and four zeros. We'll turn off all acceleration from the IDE. It is back to factory default, back to standard. So let's run sysinfo and get a reading. I do have um, another program for drives, testing the speed of drives. But I use this because everyone knows what this is. It should read something like 2.9. Yep. 2934, which is standard speed. Uh, I think my um, A300 board is slower than that. I think it's 2.7 as standard, so obviously there are issues straight away. So we'll switch back to HDMI and we'll do a little pokey, a little pokey pokey. So we'll go up now to medium fast and see what this does. On my A300 board it freezes the machine solid, it will not take any acceleration at all, so this does not work on my board. Uh, 1020 space 2 dollar 8788 now this is a medium what they call a medium speed increase so as you can see from the top screen it has poked that memory address we'll fire up this info it will switch to RGB which it does and speed this is a standard fast file system. Instantly, quite a dramatic speed increase. So we've got 3,727, which is pretty good. That's uh, that's a nice speed. That will overtake the CF card now. Let's do a speed test on the CF. 3.2. Now a CF usually is a little bit faster than a bog standard IDE. Well, yeah, quite a bit. So we'll go back to. HDO 3727165 
Now I have a sneaky suspicion. I've run this test a couple of times already, and it is always that figure. It doesn't go up a little bit. It doesn't go down a little bit. So what sort of what it's telling me is I think that it's already maxed out. I haven't tried a higher speed, but we're going to do it now. But I don't expect things to work. So if it crashes, the screen goes blank. My apologies. So let's see what happens. So dollar uh, DD one o oh yeah one o two o. I've never been any good at typing. I'd never be a typist. Um, dollar, and I think f a far speed is. Uh, eight seven five four, eight seven five four, eight seven five. I think if you lower the last two digits, the faster the increase. Okay, let's do it. I was going to do an indeterminate speed there in between, but no, nope, let's do it. So this should be medium fast now. So this will either lock the machine up, which I don't think it has, because this info is fired up. Oh, why have I pressed speed, you knob? Wrong button. Drives, stupider. There we go. 3727165, which is exactly the same as it was before. So that is already maxed out um, at, me at the medium speed increase. Now, as I said, this board is not uh, recapped. I will probably do it. In fact, I might do it tonight. Well, I'm all excited. Oh, it's 9 o'clock. I might not bother. Um, but that's okay. I don't suppose it's... No. So everything's exactly the same. So it's made no difference. So that means that this motherboard is actually maxed out. Um, let's just try a, an intermediate one out of sheer interest. So let's say... Dollar uh, DD1202 Dollar um, so if medium fast is 8788, let's try 87, I don't know, 98, and see if it gives us just another reading. doesn't matter what it is. I just want to know if my drive is actually maxed out. I nearly did it again. I do have another hard drive to uh, CF to try, which I'll do in a moment. Three seven two seven one six five. So that's exactly the same as it was before. So clearly, the maximum speed it can hit is sort of medium, which is a bit of a shame. But that could be down purely down to the CF card. It may not go any faster. That could be it. So what I'm going to do is shut the machine down, reboot it with another CF card, and we'll see what happens. So I may or may not see you in a little bit. Thank you very. Hello and welcome back. So we've just booted it with another CF card. This is in, what is this in? The PFS3 file system. It's a, I don't know what it is, it just says compact flash, 8 gigabytes, blue. So I've just poked it to the medium speed increase. We'll hit drives, that's why it's on SanDisk, DHO. Right, we have 3004. Okay, let me write that down. This is down from 37. Point five motherboard. Okay, that's good. Curiously, it's slower than uh, than before, but that's okay. Dollar DD one o two o two. Um, dollar eight seven eight. So that was eight eight. So we'll try five four. Let's see if this gives us any increase at all. I don't think it will, but. 
Hell, you never know. Uh, that's gone down. That's gone down from three four seven nine to three two seven six. Very strange. It's supposed to go up. Let's put it by to stand and see what stand it is on this machine. Because I didn't try that. DD. One o oh, two o oh, two dollar. So they should be box standard speed. Sand disk. Stop going on sand disk. Should be two uh, two seven seven eight. Okay. So it's slightly slower than my um. Fujifilm CF card, so obviously CF cards do make quite a bit of difference. So the maximum this can attain then is 3479, which is 3479, which is actually slower than my um, Fujifilm CF card. What I need to do is dig out where my SanDisk cards and see what that does see what performance that gives me um, actually the the, um, the CF card is a sand disk 3276 okay and that's always that sort of speed so that's uh, quite an interesting um, speed comparison there so if you've got an Amiga with a CF card uh, buy a Fujifilm and I'll tell you what it is. It is a Fujifilm fast transfer rate up to 3 megabyte per second. Digital memory card is green, green and silver. Compact flash written on it. It goes like stink. It'll be interesting to see what uh, how that compares to a sand disk. I've actually got a sand disk in front of me here. 30 megabyte a second. What did the Fujifilm say? Not quite sure. It looks like three megabytes a second, but I've written workbench on it, so I can't actually see what the last digits are. Not that it matters. So I'll get myself a sand disk, and we'll um, we'll give it another test and see how it goes. That's quite an interesting test. But that is a 1.5. So clearly, the 1.3 motherboards and 1.5 motherboards have much better IDE implementation than the early revision A300 motherboards. And then again, your CF card also makes quite a dramatic difference in performance. So the next test, I'll keep using the 1.5. I do have a 1.3 here, but my 1.3 board's a little bit flaky. There's something wrong with it, I don't know what. But this is, uh, yeah, it's a good test. I've quite enjoyed doing this. Um, I did try, like I said, with my A300 board, early revision. Um, it won't take any increase at all from standard. It just freezes the machine solid, so it won't work at all. So, there you go, kiddies. Get yourself a 1.3 or a 1.5 Mega 600 if you want to run a vampire to get the max performance out of it. Um, how will you notice if it runs good or not? Well, if you run... What runs? What's got a lot of disk access? Something like Doom. If you run Doom from a, a HDO, you will see a slight pause in the animation as well in the action as the scenes get busy. Um, if you run it from CF, you won't see that. So, obviously, the speed makes quite a bit of difference. Um, I must admit, I generally run all my stuff from a big CF card I've got shoved in there, so it doesn't really matter to me. But it would be nice to have a fast uh, APOC uh, increase in the boot speed of this thing. It would be nice to get it booting up super quick. So I think I'm going to add that to the startup sequence. I may live to regret that. In fact, no, I won't. I'm just going to put a command into uh, Workbench Startup. Because if I get problems by changing 
Yeah, what difference does it make? I wonder what difference it makes with the other, with the Fiora accelerator. Well, that could be it. I'm rambling now. Thank you.